right, here we are, room eight. Let's uh, see what this room's all about. All right, stay tuned to the end of the video and I will be giving the Bayfront Marin House a G-score and tell you if I'm gonna stay there again or not. Well, what's up guys, it's Chad here with G-Reviews. I'm coming to you from a bonus room today instead of my kitchen table. Uh, I'm doing the first review in this category. I'm doing some travel reviews. It's summertime 2019 and we'll be doing some traveling and staying in a few different places. I'm gonna share my experiences with you guys on these. The very first place I'm going to be reviewing is called the Bayfront Marin House Bed and Breakfast in St. Augustine, Florida. Uh, the first category that we're going to dive in today is just going to be the, the room itself. So here we go. All right, guys, here we are. Right in the main room here, we have a nice little sitting area. We got two nice uh, end tables and we have a king size bed. Uh, just as a little disclaimer, we've already uh, already uh, messed up the bed a little bit. Uh, all right, so here's the end tables. Here's the place we're staying. Bayfront Marin House in St. Augustine. All right, we're gonna turn to the right. As you guys can see, my nice gimbal. We have a nice flat screen TV with cable. A phone, a little tablet. Here's the bathroom. We've got it looks like a nice jacuzzi tub. All right, we got the sink. Some lighting. That's we're gonna pan back over here guys. Got two nice robes, nice jetted tub. And turning again, got a nice walk-in shower with multiple shower heads. Very nice, very nice. And obviously here we have the toilet. All right guys, the second category I'm going to be looking into on this particular place is going to be the location. Everybody knows location is very important when it comes to staying at a place, especially in a town where it's very busy and you want to be close to the main part of the town. All right guys, here is my PC. I just have an overview on Google Maps of location. This little red, red dot down here is the Bayfront Marin House bed and breakfast review I'm doing on as you guys can see yeah it's saying $199 per night that is starting at um, which is pretty much the single bedroom room that we got um, obviously during peak seasons or whatever it might be a little bit different but this is pretty much downtown St. Augustine this is where everybody wants to come if they're going to St. Augustine um, pretty much this green rectangle here is the center of town where Pretty much during the holidays have tons of Christmas lights and you know just a bunch of stuff around here um, this is the bridge of lions uh, everybody wants to come here because it's one of the oldest bridges and the lions that are on there original and all that other good stuff um, pretty much everything that's lighted up on here is you know good stuff Harry's seafood barn grill is a great place um, right over here St. George's Street okay that's one of the oldest streets it has one of the oldest schoolhouses on it and everything is mainly still original all cobblestone road um, it has all the buildings are still you know made of old brick and you know <clears throat> stuff like that another main attraction in San Augustine is going to be the uh, Castillo de San Marcos uh, Fort let's see if I can get a satellite image here all right, this right here, guys. A lot of people come here to see that fort. It's uh, uh, made of coquina. It's not. Um, it's pretty much they just crushed up all the shells from the beach and decided to build a fort out of it. Um, you know, St. Augustine historically is one of the oldest uh, oldest towns um, in the United States, if not in Florida for sure. Um, so obviously, from there to the Bayfront Marin House is probably about a good. 
mile and a half at the most. Okay, so location is awesome. It's right on the water and it's within walking distance to all the main attractions um, in St. Augustine. All right, the third category we're going to be looking at today is the amenities of this bed and breakfast. There are many amenities. Uh, there are a few shortcomings, but it makes up for it in other things, all right? Um, some amenities are going to be the amazing walk-in shower. Most people, when they go to a hotel, they look at the bedroom that falls into the bedroom, but amenities is kind of a different category. It's got a jetted tub. It's got a dual-headed shower. Very nice. Um, the outdoor amenities is got gazebo, tons of outdoor sitting area. It's got hammocks. Um, a lot of good stuff, and uh, I'll have a few pictures of all the good stuff here shortly. All right, guys, something else I forgot to mention that's a major point in this place is the beach. If you're going to come down to visit Florida, you're going to want to go to the beach. It's about three miles to the beach. All you're going to have to do is cross over the Bridge of Lions, go down another mile or two, and you'll be at the beach. Um, the beach over there on that coast, most of it is a drive-on beach. So you can take your cars, drive on the beach. Um, obviously you're going to want a four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive vehicle, and a lot of people do get stuck, so just be careful of that. But the beach is amazing, and um, yeah, we'll go on to the next category. All right, guys, the fourth category is the wow factor, all right? When you pull up to this place, you feel like you're in old town Florida, okay? Just the outside looks nice and old. It reminds you of Flor Floridian type of place. It's got all the hanging baskets with flowers. Um, the wow factor is great on this place. But you don't actually notice the wow factor until you actually get up to the room and lay down on the bed. The room I was in, okay, the second you lay down on that bed, you open up the blinds, you look out, all you see is the gorgeous intercoastal waterway with all the sailboats and off in the distance, all right, you gotta look, but you'll see the St. Augustine Lighthouse, which is still an operating lighthouse. You still have the light that goes around. Very beautiful, guys. That is the wow factor. All right, another important thing is the view. Here is the side window, looking to the next um, next uh, bed and breakfast next door. There is a nice uh, porch out here with lots of sitting area. And then we're gonna pan over here and look at the main view. It's the money view right there, guys, the money view. I don't know if you can see, right there is the St. Augustine Lighthouse. And this is the intercoastal waterway right here. And then obviously you can see the street with all the parking and they have a lot of horse tours and a beautiful uh, veranda here with all the uh, potted plants. All right, when it comes to staying at any hotel or any place for that matter, the main thing that most people look for is how much it costs. And costs and value is two different things. The fifth category that I'm going to be doing on this review is value, okay? When you look up any hotels or any place in St. Augustine, well, let's just say in Florida in general, if you're looking at summertime rates, they're going to be pretty high, especially by the beach or by the water. All right. Now, uh, you can look it up. Hotels.com is where we found the best price. However, when we checked in, they told us that if we had actually physically called them directly, they would have been able to give us a better deal than Hotels.com just because they know their inventory and it's not like a huge hotel chain, so they can kind of work with you a little bit. All right, guys. Um, looking at it at face value, all right, the cost on the Bayfront is pretty much right in the middle of the cost of staying in San Augustine, okay? Uh, if you look at someplace like the Casa Monica, you can look that up. It's easily the cheapest room, if you're going to be able to get one, is $350 a night. That is pretty pricey, 
but when you look that up, it, it, it looks like it costs. It looks like an old-time castle. Like, it looks crazy. Uh, that place has underground parking. It's pretty fancy. I've never stayed there, but I've looked at it. It's expensive. Uh, another one in St. Augustine that's you know pretty prominent is the Hilton. Um, that's going to be easily two fifty a night. All right. Like I said, the Bayfront we stayed. Um, it's going to be around two hundred. Okay, two hundred. Now, if you want to go maybe like three miles outside of St. Augustine, maybe a little bit more, you'll be getting just some hotel motels. And you can get that stuff for about 100 bucks, guys. But obviously, you're going to have to drive and find your own parking, etc. Um, so the value is actually pretty good for what you get, okay? You don't have to fight people to get in. There's no weights. Um, it's bed and breakfast. Uh, breakfast is included, and it has amazing breakfast. I have a little bit of video on that here shortly. All right, guys. Here we go. All right, guys. Here we are in the lobby. I'm trying to be a little quiet. It is early morning breakfast time. Uh, the complimentary breakfast is served here. I already ate a whole bunch of it, but as you can see, the food looks delicious. Um, the air conditioning feels nice. Everything's painted uh, like flowers should be painted, nice and bright colors. And uh, having a great time with my wife. Alright guys. <clears throat> Alright guys, I'm concluding the video, okay? I'm gonna give the Bayfront Marin House a G score, okay? I'm gonna explain the scoring system here shortly. The five categories I already talked about, the room, the location, the amenities, the wow factor, and the value, okay? Each of them is gonna get a one through five, okay? And then add them up and divide by five, and that's gonna be my G score. Alright guys, in review, the room. Okay, you remember how nice that room was, okay? The the actual physical building is original, okay? But they've done some remodeling and some revamping. It's a very nice room, okay? I'm going to give the room, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. So I'm going to write here in red, okay? Hopefully you guys can see that. This is my daughter's uh, dry erase board. That's all I got right now, guys. Okay? 4 out of 5 on the room, okay? The location... I showed you on a map the location. You can't get much better than that, okay? You're going to be spending about another 100 to $200 a night trying to get maybe like a block closer. So the location of the Marin House is amazing, okay? So you, that is going to be getting a 5, okay? 5 out of 5. So you can't get any higher than that on location, guys. All right, the amenities of the actual... The hotel slash resort bed and breakfast itself okay um if you're a homebody and you're not the kind of person that's going to be going out very much you just want to stay at the bed and breakfast the amenities are a little bit lacking um if you look at it though from a physical standpoint uh these places that i've seen are jam-packed together um it's one small block so they can't really add a pool they can't really add any of that those things that take up a lot of room okay they don't even have a parking lot. Um, you have temporary drop-off and pick-up parking right in front on the main street. Then they actually have a parking lot that you have to drive about a block down that you can park there. Okay, So the amenities are a little bit lacking. Um, if you're the kind of person that doesn't want to stay at the place, at the resort, whatever, it's perfect. Okay, But this has to go for the general masses. So the amenities on this is getting a 3. All right? 3 out of 5. All right? The wow factor, okay? Remember that what I was talking about with that view? All right, the wow factor of this place is great. I'm not saying amazing, but it's great, okay? It's got a great view, great atmosphere. Um, it's close to everything. Uh, you know, it just has that old town feel. It's very nice, okay? The wow factor on this place is going to get a 4 out of 5. All right, I think my Sharpie here, my Expo marker is dying on me slowly. All right, now as far as value goes, guys, the value of this place for what you get, okay? The room is great, okay? Location is great. I have no complaints with any of that, okay? 
However, the value I'm putting on this is going to be a 4 out of 5. All right. All right. So, let's see what we got here. We got 5. We got 4, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. We got a total of 20 points here. All right. So, Marin House, okay, Bed and Breakfast, the G score is going to be a 20 out of 25. All right. So that puts it pretty high up on the list. That's a great place. Um, as far as if I want to go back, I will definitely go back to that place. I have no complaints. Um, a 20 out of 25 is a great score. And if you guys like what you see and you want some more travel videos, uh, you know, comments, you know, what you want to see. Hopefully I can accommodate you, but please like and subscribe to the channel. Helps us out greatly. All right, guys. Have a great summer. Here is a little close walk around video of the Scoot Coupe we rented while in St. Augustine. Obviously, two seater, it's got lap belts for both. It's got normal controls, just like a normal, I guess, moped. It's got front and back brakes, it's got horn, turn signal lights. Here's the old parking brake, it's got the starter, uh, turn signals, etc. It's got mirrors, it's got the speedometer. This thing gets up to 45. Got headlights, blinkers, everything. So it is street legal. There we go. It's got safety flags just to help people see you.